Hey viewers, and today we're going to be doing the landing page for Habit App. And it's going to be different because we're going to be doing an illustration. I thought that would be nice to do. It's quite trendy. I thought, yes, let's learn this. Let's make it into a nice project. So my name is Roy. I'm a web designer. If you do find the content useful, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and let's get into the video. Let me do a clap. That is just to sync the audio. So to kick off the video, we are starting with a list. We've pretty much done most of this. So logo, heading, subtext, CTA, app. And then the juicy bit at the end is the illustration and noise. Do a new frame. And we're going to go big. So F key and then 1920 by 1080. And straight away, We'll just go to the app, see what we have, and go to our design system that we did. And if you've missed these videos, you can check the previous videos. So here we have the textiles, we have the actual list items and colors. If we go back to logo, we also created the component for that. So I'm straight away going to just choose the white version. So if I go back to website, I'm going to paste that in and we are actually going to go dark mode. So straight away, I'm going to try and choose dark, but because the internet is off, I'm just going to go there. Okay. So. What we're going to do now is so we've got our logo and we are then going to have a heading so the heading here which let me just change to let me just change to white but tailwind is not working so okay so let's do this again we're going to go to white And then here, the main heading is track your habits. And we are going to use the textiles that we created. We're going to give it the biggest size, 56. But we're also going to, we are also going to make this bold. So I'm just going to detach that and go to bold. So track your habits. And we're going to make this probably a bit smaller so did I do a bit of size let's see if I'll go small nice okay and then what we need to do is see if I can change this to white okay and also the tick we also want that to be white okay so track your habits and then we have subtext and this is going to be start and we're always defaulting to black for some reason select all and then we go up and again we're going to go to our textiles we're going to say 24 so start with Three impactful habits. Start with three impactful habits. And then start with three impactful habits to unlock more, more habits. more habits of successful successful creators okay or you could say successful people and this is based off of atomic habits 
which if you haven't read it, I'd highly recommend it. So start with three impactful habits to unlock more features, more habits of successful people. Okay. So again, I'm going to just break that. Reason why is we're going to do the line height, which we're going to make a bit bigger. Let's say 32. Can we play with the measure? Actually, if I make that to unlock, if I say the, let's do 40. Okay, so that's a bit better. Okay, track your habits. Start with three impactful habits to unlock more habits of successful people. A lot of habits in there. Track your habits. Okay. And then we are going to do a CTA. And I haven't done a CTA, which is interesting. So again, we just go back to the website. We start with T. And again, we are going to go and just type in download. And we're going to make that white. Actually, no, we're going to stay dark. If I do shift A, converting this to an auto layout, we can then fill that with white with a border radius of 8. We are also going to go to the text and we are going to say we want this to be 24 as well, but we're going to make that bold, is that too bold? And then we're going to play around with these, so 8, 16, 8 and 24. And you'll see why in a minute, so download on Download. Download on Mac OS or download for Mac OS. This one actually we want it to be smaller. So we go back to our textiles. We're going to say 16. And in there, we actually have another one. And we are going to stack these. We're going to say 8 spacing, maybe actually no spacing, download for Mac OS. But Mac OS, we are going to make that bigger. So 24, we're going to make that bold. This one, we are going to leave as is. And what we're going to do is get the icon so you can download the icon I find it from simple icons and just let's just drag that one over I, I think cut, cut that paste it in there and what we need to do is then group these so we can then align it this way and we want the Apple icon to be first the spacing between those, let's say 8 pixels, 16 pixels, and then spacing on the left, probably 16 as well. Okay, yeah, so we've got, let's, let's be a bit more generous with the button, so let's say 24 on either side. And let's see if we can align that vertically in the middle. Ooh, that's not perfectly so I'm just going to leave it aligned from the top but that might not look 100% correct so shift A on the icon and I'm going to say panning on the top let's give that 8 ok so I'm using the eye to vertically align it and so yeah, we've got our subtext CTA. What we can do as well is let's just select all of them, shift A. And what we're gonna do is group these, shift A on that as well. 
the spaces between these two are going to be a lot less, so 24. But then the spacing between these two is going to be greater, so 72. Okay. So we're trying to group these. So you've got the heading, the logo's up there, the CTA's down here. Maybe we can make these a bit tighter. So let's say 16. Again, this is along the 8, the eight pixel grid, the 8 point grid. So now we've got a CTA. We have our um, text and heading. And then the last thing to do is to get in the app. So we are 12 minutes in. Let's go to the app that we made yesterday. And I'm going to get the light version or the light version. We go back to the website. And again, check out yesterday's video if you haven't seen it already. Yeah. You can see that I've been messing around with, with the app. And it shouldn't be like that for some reason. So if I go back to my design system. Interesting. So let's let's figure that out. If I go back here, paste it, and they all seem to have the border radius for some reason. So I, I was I was having trouble with this the other day. So what we can do is we are just going to get rid of all these border radiuses. I'm not sure why that happened. This might happen for you. It might be because I was playing around with this the other day. So we're just bringing these all down to zero. And I think there is a way to do this rather than every single individual one. So zero. And you can see there that that if you want to keep it really minimal, that works already. Um, but if we go back to this, what we want to do is get rid of we want to get rid of the background color and I'll show you why in a minute. So we're getting rid of that and all of them. And we're only going to show free habits because you can actually, we can actually show a, some animation. It could, it could slide from one to the next, but that'll probably be another video one day. So, what we want to do is actually put rather than background color white on each individual one we want to do it on the whole frame and see if this works so if i give it white and now it's got the now it now we can put the border radius which is pretty cool which it did have on that frame so we're going to make that 16. and then there's that line at the end which is definitely bugging me so if i remove it no first one okay so that means I have to give this a fixed height and remove that line and then I have to make sure that this is aligning on the top okay so again I want this to hug the contents for some reason don't know why so we can resize it there we are Okay, so again, it's a very simple app. Start with three impactful habits to unlock more habits of successful people. And these three, just, just from my, my own experience of pumping out one project a week, which is a lot of stuff, and creating a video, these are the three ultimate habits that have absolutely helped me sleep early, wake up early, 30 minutes of learning. And yeah, I'll just highly recommend this to you if you're struggling, because to do work, it does take a lot out of you and it, and ultimately you have to build good habits. We've practically done a very simple, minimal page, right? We can vertically align that, vertically align that. And yeah, now the next big challenge is to create this illustration of a background. So one picture that I found, which is on Unsplash, and you can find this on Unsplash, is, that's his name, Vin Vincentio Solomon. Let's see if I pronounce his name right. So I'm going to drag that in. And 
what we're going to do is we are going to illustrate this background which i think is really cool and the reason why i chose a tick and a star is because once you start uh, once you start doing the habits you're basically going after your dreams it sounds very cheesy but in order to go for your dreams you just have to start doing and it's just small habits that you have to do and there's there's another app called forest where if you if you stick to your to-do list and you check them off and you focus on your tasks the forest grows so this is kind of a similar theme where if you keep ticking off your habits you're going to see stars in the background the more stars you see the more you're achieving your dream it sounds very very loose but i thought of this idea to make the app a bit more interesting so i thought yeah let's illustrate this background okay so this i'm going to paste it over this can be the tedious part but for me it is also something that i absolutely wanted to do for a while so what we're going to actually do is we're going to create a gradient and if i go so i've already selected the background of the frame i'm going to go to linear and we are just going to copy the colors so we're going to go from top and the more colors you get the more rich it will be okay so we're using the colors of the photo which i think is going to be way more natural um, hopefully i am right so again we're just using all these colors and again i think these might be way too many actually in the grid but hey you know we are practicing and then if i do another one we are not going to around here i could probably delete a few because they might be way too similar delete that one as well okay so maybe we aim for seven ish maybe okay so we go another one and that one is going to be around there now let's see how that looks wow you can see that already it looks pretty pretty natural right and of course the last one we want we want that to be around there nice okay that is pretty sweet right even just that works pretty well and that's just a nice natural gradient of using a photo or <laughs> you know, nature basically that's how you can create gradients so again that works and now we're going to just uh, copy the shapes of the mountains and this can be the tedious part so I might speed up this video, but all you do, you just get your pen tool. You're just going to go, we're just going to trace these. Okay, nothing, nothing special, but the more detail you get in, then the more realistic it's going to be, the more points we use. down it's going to be a slightly darker gray okay okay so that is number three okay so back to real time we've just created we just create three layers and now we're going to use the colors from there so if we start with the very 
through lockdown, we start with the first one. And I get rid of that fill. And hmm, funny thing is, if I just move it to the side a bit, I'm just going to copy that color. Okay, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, let me just unlock everything so we can give ourselves a bit more space to work with. So number one is done. Let's now do number two. And that has to be slightly lighter. So if I was to It's actually slightly lighter. It doesn't look lighter, does it? This one, we are going to make that lighter. Can you actually see the difference? You can't. You can't really. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do this ourselves manually. So, we're going to make that slightly lighter. Let's see if that's working. Okay, very slightly. Could be more. This one, we're gonna copy that one. We're gonna we're gonna naturally go in a curve. Maybe that might be too much. Okay, I think that is okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna copy these, bring it into the frame, nice, bring that down, we can, again, we can just play around, play around there, and we're getting this one here, go in there, that one will actually Send, send backward, nice. So now we're getting some nice depth in there. And then the final one, which will join, which is behind both of those is this one. So this one's a bit more interesting. So send backward, send backward again. Nice, very nice. And then we just bring that down. There we go. So again, we've got three mountain ranges. I thought that is pretty nice. And straight away, you know, it's it's got that really nice landscape, that nature. Probably need to bring these up. And if we just shift A, we can vertically align that we can bring them closer so let's say 80 and then center align it okay so so when you build your habits you're going to start getting starts right but what we're going to do anyway just for the sake of it well not for the sake of it but we're going to start putting stars in there and so we're just going to go Slightly white. Let's make these a lot smaller. So, can we say, how will you look at 16? There we go. Just do these randomly. So, we go to star, we can add more points. So, let's say 6. Again, we're going along the 8 point grid 24. We do another star. How many stars are we going to do? Let's say we do seven. So if I actually lock that one, let's say that is four. What's that about 42? I'm going to lock it. Let's say 40. This one could be seven. And what should we say that one is? going to be 32. Nice. And then we do, just do a couple more. 
So let's say five stars. Let's start to start with only three points. Four again. And let's say that's 40. Or let's say that is 20. Is there 20? There isn't a 20. Let's say 30. 24. You're going to kind of make that star. But is they, are they that low? I really don't know. So we're kind of getting more stars around here. Hopefully it's going to attract the reader. But the other thing we're going to do is we're going to do a nice glow effects. Uh, drop shadow. We're going to say 8. There's no Y. And it's going to be. For some reason you can't see anything so you can bump that up more but let's bring this up so you can see that glow now so let's say around 50 percent got that really nice glow and if i was to create that into an effect just call it glow and now i can apply that effect to, oh, we're at 32 minutes, so we're nearly there. Um, glow. What else is there? Effects and glow and glow. Now, another nice little thing we can do is we can do a shooting star. Okay, and you normally only get one shooting star, and we are gonna. Let's see, on purpose, we're going to put it around here. So we are going to make this into a gradient. And it's going to go like that. Can we make it longer? So three times 96. Nice. So it's like a shooting star. You only get one shooting star, right? So it's kind of, it's going to the logo. Maybe bring it down a bit. I think that's quite nice. Um and then what else is there? There's another nice tiny thing we can do, which is the bird. Which again has got that V shape. So I'm holding the shift down. You've got a nice V shape, but we're just going to slightly shoot, slightly curve it a bit. Just going to bring that point a bit higher. Shoot. Actually, it's like three birds flying together. We want that auto to be around there. Got that nice like bird flying. Let's say the bird is around there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do three of them like they're flying together in a V shape. I'm gonna slightly randomize them a bit. This could be like that. Also slightly randomize that one so we're going to say they fly in a v-shape we say that one's at the front that one that one is that one is the furthest from back so we're going to make that 50 percent that would be around 70 percent a nice tiny thing there and then what we also want to do just just for fun is have some shapes right like a sun sun um, setting for example and again this is also not 100 accurate but we are gonna we are gonna start with let's say 96 
actually 96 times by 2. And we are going to make that into a gradient. There we go. And then the color we're going to choose, we're just going to go around white. We're going to bring this down. So if we say 50, we are then going to copy paste. We're going to just type that by two. So you got one, two. We're going to type that by two. And we're going to time that by two. Wow. Are they all centered? Yes, they are. So we are starting. So that one is 50%, that one 40%, that one 30%, that one is. 20%. Nice. That might be way too. So we're going to group. How many do I actually have? Only four. So I'm going to group those. And we are just going to put this behind these three. So group, pull those mountains mountains we're just adding layers on top aren't we so that will be behind the mountains and let's bring that down so you only see maybe half there we go so we got that nice yeah that is pretty cool very simple the other thing to add is a noise as well so what we're gonna do yeah okay so you've got we practically done the illustration really simple and clean and we're up to 38 minutes the other thing we can do as well you've got this nice haze in the background right so what we're gonna do is get the pencil again we're just going to go and probably just use this one. So we're just going to slightly see if we can just follow this nice haze that they got. And we're just going to curve these so we just hit the points like this and we're going to fill it we're going to have a gradient again just if we just move that we are going to go it's going to fade out so let's say we are choosing nice orange are we actually going to swap it around like that and we get rid of the stroke we got that really nice haze there go back here paste that got that really nice haze we can we can what are we going to call that? Haze? I have no idea what that is. So we're going to go. So you've got mountains. So this will be behind everything. And we are going to bring that down as well. Let's say 50. Nice. Okay. So now it's kind of blending in. Let's say we actually choose that with uh, shift and alt. Bring that 
down. There we go. Nice. That should probably be behind the haze as well. Well, right, that's in front of the haze now. So we just keep it like that for now, very simple. And thinking about it, there's probably too much spacing between those ions. So if I go back here, I'll probably make that smaller, let's say 40. Yeah, I think that's good enough. And then the last thing to do is to add a bit of noise in the background. You've got that speck of dust, which I think is pretty nice layer to add in. So let's just copy that. Just gonna quickly switch on the internet very quickly. So I just wanna get the noise layer. So I select that frame, right click, plug in, and there's a, a plugin called noise, which you can get and I'm gonna say, yeah, get me some noise. I want it, I want the density to be ooh. I'm doing this right, density lower. Probably go back to the beginning. Scale. Okay, let's see around there. Then we go like that, hit the tick. It's then bringing in the noise, but that might, I think we need it to be a lot more, a lot more than that. So if I'm bringing that down to 10%, yeah. Again, if we give it another try. So we right click, we go to plugin and we go to noise. Scale is a lot, okay. Try that. Yeah, that's much better. So here, I'm gonna label that noise. We are then gonna have that. Let's say, oops, did I do that right? That should be above there. Noise is going to be behind the mountains. And that group, what is that group? That we just say sun. That could be behind the sun as well. And behind everything else. And then what we're going to do is just bring that down. So let's say 50. Okay, you zoom in, you can see that. Let's bring it right down to, let's say, 10. Okay, so it's there, but it's not too noticeable, which I think is pretty cool. But it gives you that nice noise background. So let's just bring that around there, I would say. So there we go, right? We did a very nice, simple, landscape background another tip one one last tip before we go is you can select the whole uh, the whole background there and we can give it a border radius of eight what that does is smooths the corners smoothing it up a bit let's say 16 now you're smoothing it up let's do the same for that 16 so again it feels a lot more natural not so sharp and I think that that does it so I hope you enjoyed this video if you do find the content useful please leave a like leave a comment subscribe hit the bell and I'll see you in the next project okay take care bye